Hello, this is Chuck. We are back again with Heroine's Quest. Uh, we have been called by the Jarl to go come and see him, so let's enter the gates, I guess. How can I help you? <laughs> Interesting. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. A bright blue vase made of a type of stone unknown to you adorns the hallway. It is clearly imported from some foreign faraway place. A large stone statue of a wolf adorns the hallway showing the symbol of the Yilfing clan. Two crimson and gold trim banner proudly display the coat of arms of Forest Sigtuna, a stately crown surrounded by stars. This appears to be a door here. It looks vaguely door-like, but you're pretty sure it's a door after all. Okay, I think we need to just enter through these chambers. You may enter the audience room of Jarl Ilfing. You step into the Yarl's austere yet impressive throne room. The twin banners of Forsyth Tuna and Clan Yulfing adorn the walls flanked by fluttering torches. The Jarl sits on his throne, awaiting your presence, his symbolic key of office hanging proudly beside him. This is a wizard guy. In the name of Odin the Wise, we bid you welcome to Fornsic Tuna. Arise, traveler. Yes, my lord. I am Ilfing, third of that name, Jarl of Fornsic Tuna, and warden of Jan Vidir. At my side is Orvandel, sage of the Northern Lights and keeper of the rites. At your service, which I hope is serviceable. What is your name? I am Chiak, fierce warrior who's aspiring mystic, uh, whose blade strikes true. I'm checking which to become a hero. I am a fierce warrior whose blade strikes true. I am glad to hear that. I too am a proud warrior and master of the sword. However, I also have a realm to run and my guards have found Sikuna to protect. We need someone to seek out our problems ere they seek us out. Of late, Von Sikuna is troubled. The winter has been far longer and colder than normal, and the city is running out of food and supplies. The woods of Jan Vidir around us are becoming dangerous. Wolves, trolls, and undead are on the prowl, and there have been sightings of giants. The people are starting to call this the Fimbul Winter, which is prophesied to last until the world ends. However, we fear the cold may be magical in origin. I have used my magic to seek out where the source of the winter is coming from. It appears that a powerful spellcaster seems to be behind this winter's origin. But this spellcaster is casting spells to shield himself from my seeking. Which is why my seeking spell cannot find this shielded spellcaster. Therefore, we decided to find an ally of courage and skill to investigate our problems and to aid us against the trolls ere we all freeze of winter. And so, we ask for your aid. When I heard of your arrival yesterday, I told my guards to send you here first thing in the morning. Will you accept this charge? Very good. I am told you are staying at the Adventurer's Guildhouse. You may reside there for as long as you need. I shall have some rations delivered there, although the city has little food to spare. However, I do not think a true adventurer would have trouble finding food. As a magical preparation, I have prepared a magic scroll with the magic of the Fatia's blessing, which shall serve as a map of your travels and map them magically. Thank you. Will this map also allow me to teleport to other places? No, it is not that powerful. 
You are a traveling heroine, so you should expect to do some traveling, so you can do heroic deeds while you travel. However, the map will tell you where to go, so that you can go where the map tells you to. That will be all. We wish you safe travels, and hope to speak to you later when you have something important to report. Yes, my lord. All right. You now have a map which will automatically sh show all places you've been to. Use the action menu to see it or press the M as key as a shortcut. Okay, well after we exit this area, let's... What in the world is that blinking thing? Can we go anywhere else or are we going to get halted? Oh, this is your place. How may I be of assistance on this Thor's day? Or can I otherwise help by assisting you? Uh... What is Fonsigtuna like? Fonsigtuna is the city that we live in, which is called Fonsigtuna. It contains numerous houses in which people live, as well as the castle where the Jarl of Fonsigtuna lives. The Jarl, who lives in the castle, is named Ilfing, and I am in the service of Jarl Ilfing of Von Sictuna. Jarl Ilfing is the Jarl of this city, and is a descendant of the clan Ilfing, who have traditionally ruled Von Sictuna as its Jarl. There are numerous people in this city about which I could spread gossip, but since doing so would be spreading gossip, I choose not to share information with you about the numerous people in this city. Lest I become known as a gossip. It's an interesting way of speaking. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say right what now. What can I find in Yarnvadir? Since Fonzigtuna lies within a forest, the city is surrounded by a forest. You cannot usually see this forest because there are trees that get in the way of your view of the forest. The forest is known as Yarnvadir, or the Iron Wood. This name is a contradiction since wood is not made of iron which it contradicts. But perhaps whoever named this forest simply likes to play golf in the forest. If you would know details of the forest called Yarnvidir, which is the forest in which Fonsigtuna is located, then please ask me details about this forest. What do you know about trolls? Most well known of the trolls is Thrivoldi, who is a two-headed troll who roams the forest with his two heads. It is said that one head is named Three, and the other of his two heads is named Valde. Although this would lead to a quarrel between the two heads of the troll regarding which head should claim which part of the name Trivaldi. It is said that Trivaldi is in the service of Egtha, a frost giant who is the master of the two-headed troll. Please tell me about yourself. I am Orvindel, Sage of the Northern Lights and Keeper of the Rites, and occasionally Keeper of the Northern Lights and Sage of the Rites, but only on occasion. Aside from keeping rites, I use my sage advice to advise Jarl Ilfing about ritual matters, and when it matters to be sagacious, I aim to do the right thing. I am curious what magic you have for sale. Since you asked me what I sell, I could sell you a magic potion or two, which are potions that I have created through magic. If you have the talent, I can also sell you a spell of shadow and a spell of flame, but these require the talent of magic to use. Magic staff. Can you give me an empty flask? I need something to keep me warm. I need something to keep me warm. Certainly. I have this magical device that will magically keep you warm if you place the device magically around your neck. It is made from real wool. Very magical. Is it called a scarf? You mean a scarf? scarf? <laughs> well... Actually, it is a scarf. And it will keep you warm as a scarf, which is almost like magic. Except that instead of using magic, you can use a scarf. But 
is a laughable offer, and I will laugh at it because of how laughable it is. <laughs> offer me a better deal, so that we may laugh together at a more suitable offer. I'm not quite sure how this bargaining thing works. <coughs> that is a laughable offer, and I... You can go down. That is a laughable... Okay, well, either way, I don't have enough money for anything, really, so... I wish you good health. It is time that I return to my duties, because I am dutiful, and I have a duty to return to. I'm sure you can return later, and I will make it my duty to return speaking to you when you return. Wow, the absolute redundancy in your speech, sir, is incredible. The stars indicate that our heavy winter is caused by a large, evil entity of winter. Which is written in the stars. I have found or traded for many esoteric objects, which I have found to study the esotericism of these objects. A catalogue will become forthcoming in the future. Alas, I have not yet found the legendary Philosopher's Stone of legend, and also of the Philosophers. Perhaps I should ask my good friend Mumblemore, who is my friend. Mumblemore, huh? It would take years of study to study all the wisdom in these books, which would be very studious, bookish years. Um, a strange-looking head adorns the fireplace. Rather than being severed from its unfortunate creature, it appears to have been wrought out of clay. And it's blinking at me. I saw a blink. The fireplace is essential in keeping this drafty room heated during the winter. In addition, it provides a convenient and cozy place for roasting food. Several ornate vases decorate the room. You aren't entirely sure whether they serve some mystical purpose or merely containers for water. Hey, of curiosity. Greetings again. How may I be of a... Uh... I am cute. Since you asked... An empty flask. Can you give me an empty vial? <laughs> I'm just curious. That is a laugh. Of I find your offer acceptable. Therefore, I accept your offer and offer you the wares that you were being offered, so that you may accept them. Okay, we got. Our, so we actually bought something for the first time ever. I mostly did it. I wish you good health. It is time that I return to my duties, because I am dutiful and I have a duty to return to. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's see. Where is this empty vial? Hmm, I was hoping there'd be water in there, but either way. Maybe at some point we can use that vial for later. What was this? On the wall is a very detailed and lifelike painting of a tree, its roots and branches stretching in all directions. The word Yggdrasil is elegantly carved into the frame. You can almost see the leaves wave around in the picture. Okay. Let us be on our way. I think we spent enough time here. This dog is everywhere. Increase my ken. No? It makes me think of Nikita. The, the, not the brand of a dog, the breed of a dog. What's in the dungeons? Oh, there's you. Okay, I know there is one conversation we can have with you. So you're the one the Jarl sent for. I would think that stopping. What can the shot? Although is there? Okay. Uh. What do you know about Hervor? Fair Hervor runs the guild house and takes care of all the eager young would-be adventurers we get here. She is not from Fonsictuna. Volan the blacksmith brought her here when they married. Do not be fooled by that frail figure of hers. I've seen her break a man's arm before. Huh. Do you know the wizard Orvindel? He is a wizard in the service of Jarl Ilfin. Or possibly he is the true power in these lands who tolerates Ilfing for his own amusement. It is hard to tell the wizards. 
But his enchantments have proven useful in defending our town. He's made the locks in the castle dungeon truly impervious to thieves. Such people are good to have around. What do you think about the Jarl? I am a sworn vassal of Jarl Ilfing, protector of Fonsig Tuna. He lives in the keep at the north side of town. Okay, well that's it for today. Let us speak later. You should stay here with us. Anyway, thank you for liking if you like. Thank you for commenting if you commented. Thank you for subscribing if you subscribe. Thank you for favoriting if you favorited. And thank you for simply clicking on this video. And until next time, guys. See ya!